We're off on Nimitz Highway. That's this drag behind me here. And once that light change, it will get full of traffic. But I wanted, uh, last week we came down Nimitz Highway. This week, I'd like to head in that direction. That's called Sand Island. I talked a little bit about it last week. And it's kind of where Matson is situated, where all the boats come in and offload all the containers. But uh, there's a little surprise at the end of that, so we're going to head out that way and see what we can get. Also, on our ride today, we'll make a few observations of what it's like living on an island. So this is an industrial park, basically. And all, before we get to the actual Sand Island, very commercial, all kinds of shops, auto repair, flooring, factories, oh my gosh, you name it, there's everything here. And um, so it's not so scenic now, but uh, we'll get a little better scenic as we go. We're gonna have to watch for cars here. And I see a bike lane up ahead, that would be great. In the Bible's state itself, they had a reason to be there. There was goodness on their side They lived the life of patriots Freeing souls that tend to hide Purpose was salvation oh, Look at that airplane right there Well remember that airplane Oh, there's another one ahead of us. You probably can't see it. It's a little small. airplanes around here. All I know is behind us are a bunch of containers. So here they all come. Well, here we are at Ke'ehi Boat Harbor in Ke'ehi Lagoon. This is where private owners, mostly fishermen and sailors, who live in the city, park their boats. So you guys notice we have a lot of boat harbors here on Oahu. Well, that's typical of island living. Uh, you remember all those planes that we saw when we were riding up? Well, there's a reason. If you look across that harbor, you'll see some planes lining up on the runway. Well, that's the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, Hawaii's major hub in the middle of the Pacific. And another observation about living on an island, it's really important that we have those airports because there's no other way to get those people here. They're Right now, there are 30,000 people a day being flown into the islands. It's just important that we have that airport. And uh, what's another thing that's important about that airport today is our proximity to Sand Island. Folks, we are not gonna be able to fly a drone today. Oh, this bums me out. I tried really hard. Do you know that it's a $27,000 fine if you fly your drone too close to an airport sorry but I'm not going to do that anyway we have better things we can do I went out and bought myself a new stick a new pole for my 360 camera a little longer so we can be flying a uh, altitude about 120 inches everybody bring a parachute all right no worries we're gonna see a lot of cool stuff all right So we have just left the 
the industrial side of Sand Island Road and we're heading up over this bridge. This used to be a drawbridge at one time. And um, this is the Port of Honolulu. And if uh, you look on the left side here, we can see the big freighters and the big cranes and machinery that unload the boats, take those containers and put them on the semis and those semis take off, lickety split, go into your favorite store here and there in the islands. When I say stuff, I'm talking about lumber, kitchen cabinets, flooring, appliances, cars, TV, tools, drapes, furniture, including my recliner, clothes, linen, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and of course, food. Yes, some come via air freight at a high cost. It cost me 500 bucks to ship my trike to the islands directly from Germany via airmail. Anyway, most of our stuff is shipped to the islands by boat. So that's another observation. We need shipping boats and we have to, we rely tremendously on them to get their goods here. Well, let's go check this out. This is a BMX site. Let's see if we can get over here. Okay, here we got a, a nice little BMX track, round and round. I wonder if uh, it says no motorized vehicles. Well, might try to consider motorized? I don't think so. Next to the BMX track, we've got a, a canoe club. And this is a, the most, one of the most popular sports in Hawaii is canoe paddling. Every local high school kid always wants to get into a canoe club. And they have regattas, all especially during the summers, and so they practice, and this is a great place to practice. Next to this, we have a, well, it looks like we got ourselves a, a boat ramp here. Some fishermen get their boats in the water. You know, back in the day when I was a kid, <clears throat> they used to have big hydroplane boat races on the, in the lagoon here, and up and down, big noise, lots of activity, huge rooster tails behind the boats. Well, today we got two kayak fishermen. That's about it. So, uh, you guys get some fish. We'll see you guys later. Aloha. Now we're heading further south. There's more stuff to do. How's it, guys? Well, over the left is the Koholaos again. And that gap there is called the Pali, P-A-L-I, which means the cliffs. And somewhere in the future, I'm gonna take you guys up there and we're gonna have a spectacular ride through a, a rainforest. I know you can't see it from here, but... Uh... Here, hop on my back. All right. How's it riding back there? You guys go okay? And Everybody the comfortable? They had a reason to be there. All right, there was goodness on the side. this container. We got a car coming up. Watch out, watch out. You guys are parking up. In the bike lane, you know. That's a no-no. Well, today's a little different than most days in that it's 12 noon on a hot summer's day and I'm riding my trike. I try to avoid that as much as possible, but today I had a I had to go to Best Buy and get my extension pole for the camera. Um, I also want to avoid all that morning traffic, which is all coming into Honolulu. So there it is. You guys notice all the massive containers, tons of them, right? There is so much stuff coming in here, but this is normal. This is not pandemic related like you guys. 
You guys are getting delayed shipments because of the pandemic. Hey guys, this is normal for us. Seven weeks easy. I ordered some mini blinds this morning and uh, they told me it's going to take seven to eight weeks to get here from Wisconsin. Hey, all you Wisconsin guys, go down to Home Depot and rustle up the feathers there and see if we can get that shipping earlier than me. So anyway, it's important. We understand you guys are going through it. Well, we sympathize with you guys. We know it's hard. Welcome to our world. Here we have the Coast Guard Station. I went and asked them if uh, I could go in there and film. And they, uh, they gave me a, well, let's just say they said no. But he was actually really nice. He suggested I call the Commandant or something like that and ask if I could come. He said, yeah, they'll let you go in there, but they won't let you film. Oh, look here. Let's get a, see if we can get a close up. Now, I don't know if you're going to remember this or visualize this, but last week when we were over at Aloha Tower, we could look across Honolulu Harbor and see this boat. We were straight across from it. All right, we're almost at the end of Sand Island Road. What's coming up next is the Sand Island Recreational State Park. It's a great place for folks who live in the city to come out and enjoy a little bit of Mother Nature. Bring the kids, go camping, picnic, barbecue, swimming, fishing, and uh, just having a great time. All right, let's check it out. Uh, looks like we got a couple guys living out of their car over here by the entrance to the park. You can tell. You guys have fun? <laughs> I, I couldn't grab my horn. All right, so the <laughs> oh my gosh, nice truck, by the way. Um, let's go over. <laughs> I just hope they weren't going to come bite the hand that I'm driving this thing with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This is so much fun. All right. Yes, it's summer. So everything is dried up. Everything is dry. Red dirt. Something we have a lot of in Hawaii. Okay. Let's see who can remember what here. This is it. We're going to get up in the drone here. Remember last week, Aloha Tower? I sure hope you can see this. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get out my iPhone and get you some better shots. I'll be right back with the 360 though. Hang on. That's Aloha Tower and Honolulu. Nice, beautiful day, by the way, huh? Here's uh, our last observation of island living. We love our beaches. We spend a lot of time at them. And you're going to find a lot of beaches wherever you go on an island as you go all the way around it. Well, here in Sand Island, we got ourselves a cute little beach. I think it had a little man-made interference there, but it's a cute little beach on this island. And uh, there's a guy out there 
Looks like he's going surfing. I guess there's waves over to the right there somewhere. somewhere. Anyway, he's waxing his board, getting ready to go out. So here's what I suggest, guys. Dip your toes in the sand, get in the water, wax your stick, go get some waves, dude. Kawabunga. Well, we ended up with a nice little view of the coastline of San Island. Bummers, I'm sorry we couldn't get the drone up today. Uh, but uh, as we go along this coastline of Honolulu and Waikiki, uh, we'll, we'll get a lot of great shots. Uh, next week, we head off to downtown Honolulu for a historic view of Hawaii's uh, history. So make sure you bring a notepad, number two pencil. We'll be quizzed at the end. Hey, are you guys thinking I have to go back by that wild pack of killer miniature pit bulls? No way, but uh, I have a backup plan. <laughs> I'm glad I got it all on video. <laughs> oh my gosh, the, the adventures of Mr. Bob. <laughs> oh, ever since you let me down. That's it, guys. That's, that's our tour today. So this is living on an island. We have lots of boats and boat harbors. We have airports that are important. Just as important are the ocean freight and having to wait for things. And we love our beaches. And we love our dogs that chase us all over the place. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next video. Downtown Honolulu. You guys be cool. Aloha. Take me down.